horror often speaks to the collective fears and anxieties of our times, from the fear of sexual liberation in the 60s and 70s to contemporary fears of climate catastrophe and new technologies such as AI. These fears seep across our shared cultural imaginaries to lay bare our innermost desires, fantasies and tendencies for self-destruction. Horror provides a language for which to be scared and respond to the challenges that might be beyond our control. The exhibition brings together 19 Australian and international artists, which includes historical and contemporary works, as well as five key new commissions. Mastitis is a bacterial infection of the udder. It's very, very painful and it causes a big drop in milk production. So our whole farm, our robots are set up to minimise the risk of infection from chastity. Mastitis. Through a diverse range of mediums, including photography, painting, installation, animation and sculpture, the exhibition channels notions of revenge, rage and revolt as well as equally embracing ideas of protection. In doing so, the exhibition screams back at the patriarchy, coloniality, gendered violence and the threat of the real. My name is Mia Bo. I'm an artist based in Melbourne. In my work, I often interrogate histories of Australia that are forgotten or ignored. The light boxes are made from images from two Australian thriller horror films, one of them being Walkabout, an other film it's called Wake and Fright. I chose these two films because it's quite interesting how they portray the settler's discomfort with the outback. The silhouettes that I've put in these light boxes sit between a self-portrait and a presence or a spirit in the images. The monstrous feminine resists the prototypical role of women in horror as either victims or final girls. Instead, she plays the dual role of temptress and castrator, alluring yet repulsive, contaminating yet pure. The idea of the monstrous feminine has been central to our approach for the exhibition, which has embraced horror's capacity to destabilise perceived forms of power and subjugation. My name is Heather B. Swan. I'm an artist. I like to shake things up a bit. I like people to feel a lot of different feelings when they're looking at my work. Voyeurism speaks mostly about men looking at women, so I was thinking about women looking at men within that capsule of the monstrous feminine. A field of eyelashes or butterfly kisses brushing against your skin as you're walking through a strange dark place. Or two girls sitting there on three beds and the girls have eyes in their nipples staring back at you. One of the works is called Human Frailty and it's made up of 13 small wooden pods. They have these 19th century glass eyes in them and then each has a tear, which is an aquamarine or a ruby or another beautiful stone. When people encounter this work, I hope that they will feel a sense of the strangeness of life and the uncanniness of these objects and they'll also feel beauty and a sense of sorrow. In the context of the exhibition, the works of art convey horror as an emotional force and artistic aesthetic that speaks back for the rights of women and social minorities. In staging these works together from the other side calls for a reckoning for social and environmental justice and the agency and empowerment of the other with renewed resolve and collective strength. The exhibition challenges the assumed boundaries and traditional narratives of the body, gender, the self and the other. This summer, we invite you to join us from the other side. <laughs>